XRP has done a lot of things right, okay? From the way it functions to the way it performs, all those sorts of things, they've been right. You know, I think obviously the only thing that everybody could agree on, the only thing that hasn't done well recently is just their price performance, at least over the last, you know, four years or so, right? Well, what it's doing really well now is it's starting to change people's minds. And so a lot of people have some this kind of negative sentiment around, you know, XRP or Ripple or both, right? There's a lot of negativity that's been floating around, but now we are starting to see a lot of people changing their mind and kind of getting on board with what's happening. You know, for example, Ben Armstrong, aka BitBoy, you probably know about him. You've probably seen his YouTube videos, talks a lot about all things crypto, okay? And he used to actually call XRP support is delusional. <laughs> he had talked, you know, he was mocking people about the outlandish price predictions that they that they were promoting and, and stuff like that. But now he has actually changed his tune a little bit. He has actually said, fact is people are capable of getting new information and then changing their minds. He's actually become one of the biggest, biggest supporters, biggest cheerleaders for what Ripple is doing, for how XRP he thinks is going to perform. He thinks it's matured as time has gone on. And I think this is important to note because people are starting to realize that XRP may actually perform better than they thought. I mean, just to even take a look at the chart here, right? Nothing had really fundamentally changed. I mean, yes, you know, Ripple had, you know, made more business dealings, you know, more adoption for XRP, stuff like that. And this may be, this run up here may be part of that, but at the same time, it's more so just the case between, you know, the Ripple, between Ripple and the SEC drawing closer to a close. Now, obviously we're not there quite yet. But when this does happen, the prices that could happen may absolutely blow our minds. We have no idea, right? We've never gone through this sort of thing before. We've never had the SEC directly come after, you know, a, a crypto. And then the crypto say, now nah, we're going to fight this, put up hundreds of thousands of dollars to fight it, and then have a good opportunity of winning. So this, again, is, is a new new thing in crypto. It's never happened before. So what happens as far as price goes? It beats me. None, none of us really know. I mean, could we go up to what the all-time high was before? I don't see why not. I mean, you know, we're at a time where the fundamentals have, have definitely gotten better for XRP, right? There's more, there's more use case. There's more adoption right now. And, you know, <laughs> maybe we'll even see uh, some kind of like, like court case, um, you know, people, the holders, at least, you know, against the SEC holders, XRP holders v. SEC, you know, because now obviously the price has been depressed and a lot of that has been based on the case. You know, we can see here, right? Basically, since the, the court case came out, who hasn't really performed that well. But I, I digress. That's all I really got for this. But again, XRP is starting to change people's minds and the way... <laughs> excuse me, and the way that people perceive what is going on. And I think there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff still to come. We'll obviously have to just wait and see. They're talking about this being concluded, you know, early 2023. I think that'll probably be a good time frame for that. You know, right now, both sides have kind of been fighting the uh, summary judgment. So they kind of want, they want to go to uh, court on this. They don't want to spend the time, you know, having the judge decide on which, you know, which side is going to end up being right. But it seems like really a lot of the stuff that's been happening, you know, as far as like the amicus curies that have been coming out, the uh, the, you know, getting their hands on the Hinman documents, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's playing in the favor of XRP. So obviously we don't know, you know, the the court of law is def definitely not uh, definitive, you know, to the public's eye, at least we don't know all the parts, the ins and outs of the case. So we'll have to just be patient and obviously see how it plays out. But at least right now, things are looking good from our perspective. So as always, this is not financial advice. Definitely do your own research. You know, act accordingly. That's not what we do here on the channel. We don't uh, give financial advice. Always just for entertainment and informative purposes. So as always, I appreciate you guys stopping in, checking out the channel, checking out the video. If you haven't already, do make sure you show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Again, that way you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. 
Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care, guys.